to the video. Don't mind my uh, little blanket I have over my head. It's kind of cold down here, but in this episode, I wanted to talk about freedom and how freedom is risky. And I'll get into what I mean by that, but I got this idea from Osho. I'm reading his book, Love, Freedom, and Aloneness. And holy shit, is this guy really smart, like really wise, really, really wise. And kind of in the part of the book I'm reading, he's talking about attachments, whether it's to a relationship, whether it's to whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter. And he kept saying like, live dangerously, live, live with risk. And I just didn't, I didn't connect the dots and I just connected the dots and I understand what he means when it comes to freedom. And basically what, I, what I'm starting to understand and what, I, what I've experienced in my own life is that if you want to be free from your mind, you have to risk it. You have to like just let it all go. Everything that you're worrying about, everything that you're trying to solve or upkeep or manage, you have to kind of just like trust and have this deep inherent trust in the universe that it will take care of itself no matter what it is, no matter how big of a problem it is. And it's just crazy because like I can see the difference because when you're when you're in your mind, you're not free and you're attached to all of the things you're trying to solve, whether it's a relationship, whether it's your business, it doesn't really matter. Like when you're in that mode of living from your mind, you're constantly trying to solve problems. And to be free on this side, you have to give it all up. You have to literally, like literally give it all up and like just trust that it'll work out. And it's crazy because once you do that, you feel so free and then you'll notice your mind will come back and it'll start like trying to like you know, tempt you and bring you back into the problems and hey, we gotta solve them, we gotta solve them right now, it's not gonna work, we gotta solve them. And it's just crazy because like, you just have to give it up to be free. You have to really like, let go and trust, like a deep, deep let go. Not not like a surface level, like, oh yeah, like I, I trust it'll work out, but really like under the surface, you're like really dying about it. No, it's like you just gotta like give it all up to be free and and from that freedom is just this like amazing bliss because you're not tied down to these chains these chains that are holding you this chain to this relationship this chain to this business you just break them and not that you like destroy the business or that like you destroy the relationship but you break your attachment to them you let them go you trust that like it's just gonna work out completely on its own and from this freedom, you're alone. You're finally free and alone. And it's just so blissful because you're not attached to anything. <laughs> it just like flows. It's crazy. I don't know how to explain it, but when you know, you know. Like, I, 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 the how to get to the freedom, I, the only thing I can say is to meditate and just meditate on the fact that you're alone and in that sense, you're free. Like everyone's just off doing their thing that has nothing to do with you. It's just you right here, right now in this moment, that's it. And like, that's where the freedom comes from because like all those things you feel like you have to so desperately solve and so desperately figure out and fix. And it's a constant, never ending. If you've noticed this, it's so in the moment, it seems like it's such a priority, but if you look back over your life, there's always something to fix. There's always something to take care of. There's always something to improve or increase, even in the self-help personal development world. So it's just like this bliss when you just like, you just let it all go. And you have to have this deep, deep, very deep trust, like very, very deep trust um, that it's gonna be okay and from that you can be free because you can just let go you can let go of you basically what you're doing when you're free is you're letting go of the personality you're letting go of how people look at you you're letting go of how you appear to people you're letting go of if something works out in your favor or not like it just doesn't matter because you risk it all for freedom you live dangerously in the sense that everyone else is playing it safe 
playing it safe, not living dangerously because they're always on edge, always making sure everything's working out perfectly, always making sure that this isn't going to go wrong and making sure that this isn't going to go wrong. But when you give all of that up, you risk it because, hey, it might go wrong. <laughs> it might go wrong, but at least you're free. Would you rather it go wrong from you trying to constantly manipulate and make sure it goes right? Or would you, would you rather it go wrong from you being free and detached from it? See, it's like, it's just, it's a simple choice when you think of it that way, but it's hard. Don't get me wrong, it's hard. Like, I've been kind of in and out of this recently, and I've had moments in my past, like when I had a spiritual awakening of th this insane freedom where you realize that all your problems are just your mind creating them. But it's, it is something you can consciously undertake, and I don't think it'll happen spontaneously, although it can. I think it's something that you have to realize and say, oh yeah, I, I do want to be free. I want to stop stressing about all of these problems. Even if I'm so convinced that this problem is a real problem to me, even though all the proof is there that this is something that needs to be fixed, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> Because the freedom is infinitely more valuable than solving that problem because even if you solve that problem You're still chained to the problem You can solve the problem of your business not making money But as soon as it makes money you're still chained to it in that same neurotic tense way so when Osho says To uh, I also recommend this book by the way. It's freaking amazing. He talks a lot about love talks a lot about relationships, talks a lot about how like 99 out of 100 relationships aren't actually loving. They're just two people trying to use each other for their own means or trying to fill their own void of loneliness. And he just, he has some radical ideas about relationships, but like I get where it's coming from. Like he talks about never getting into a relationship and just letting love flow. And then like when it's done, it's done. And he talks a lot about how um, marriage and relationships are just bondage and they keep you enslaved but really that's what you want anyway I'll make another video on that but it's really cool really amazing book it's called love freedom aloneness the koan of relationships by Osho I got it at Barnes & Noble but this idea of freedom is just so fascinating to me because once you taste it oh my goodness gracious <laughs> nothing compares no solution <laughs> no solution I just feel it right now no solution to any problem can compare to the freedom you get of letting go of all the problems and that's a huge statement any problem that can be solved that solving of that problem will never compare to just letting it letting the idea of the problem go and then you're just free you're just free to be you're just free to create it's it's amazing just make that choice and it is a choice that's the thing that has been hardest for me is that like it's not a choice and i've just thought like you know like kind of this idea that it's almost like thinking that the universe is in control can be toxic because then you take away all your own power but you are the universe so it's it's kind of fucky like that but the universe does have all all the control but you are it so in that sense you have all the control you have the choice literally right now as you're watching this any problem you have to just let it go and you might think well I gotta pay the bills or like I have to solve it or I'll die well that's the thing like when you're free you're free to actually work for solutions from a place of detachment but first you have to detach from the problem it's not that like you have to pay your bills and then you just like don't think about it and you don't pay your bills it's more like the obsession with fixing the problem you let it go and that's where that trust comes in and that's scary it's risky like Osho says it's risky to live in freedom it's risky to be free but it, it, it almost always works out if you look back over your life it almost always works out everything you've worried about everything you've stressed about it always kind of works out for you even if you were worrying about it and 
if you're free, if you're detached, you're going to be operating from a place that's just so much more peaceful and so much non-forceful and you'll just like move with the flow and you'll just like know what to do. You'll know what choices to make. It's crazy. So I'm going to wrap this video up right here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something from it. As always, leave a like for me and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you can know when I upload next. And as always, got to plug my stuff. If you want to check out my Instagram or my clothing company, my clothing company, we I basically make t-shirts that remind you of certain things. So I'm actually wearing one right now. And this is actually the Trust the Universe t-shirt, which is very fitting because we need to trust the universe to be free. And so basically I make these shirts and when you wear them, every time you remember that you're wearing it, it's a reminder. It's like a meditation. And I don't think anyone's ever come up with this idea before for a shirt that's a meditation. Like you know how like Ram Dass would have these beads that he would constantly be feeling to remind him of his practice, of his spirituality, of his sad sadhana, I think it's called, or his sadhana. The shirts are this more modern way. It's like every time you feel the shirt, you remember like, oh yeah, trust the universe. Like I was just worrying, I remembered my shirt. Like I'm free, I'm good. So it's a really cool idea. Um, so check them out if you guys are interested in that. And check out this book by Osho. Again, love freedom aloneness. It's amazing. And that's going to wrap up this video. So I'll see you in the next one. Stay detached. Stay free. It's going to be scary. It's going to be risky. You're going to feel like, it's what's going to happen, you know? And that's just the mind talking. But when you're free, you're just free. <laughs> that's just, like, it's that simple. But anyway, okay. Peace.